Hi, this is Mike Wise with Capstone Direct Mortgage and your weekly mortgage update. We've had yet another volatile week in the bond market and this video is going to be a little bit longer than usual because I'm going to go into a few of the details. So first of all, on Thursday, the Philadelphia Fed president said that the Fed hikes have had little to no impact to kind of quell inflation. And that had a big impact on Thursday on the interest rates. They went up. But it also gives more weight for the Fed to have more Fed funds increases. This morning, the Wall Street Journal reported that it was a lock. It's a lock that the Fed is going to increase another three quarters of a point in November. But there was also some mention that some of the Fed members say that they have been, there's been some concerns about the Fed maybe hiking too much too fast and the impact might not be fully realized. So what do you know? Uh, we've been telling you that it can take up to six months for these impacts to kind of have an impact on the economy. But at the end of the day, it's going to go up three quarters. We're going to go from three and a quarter to 4%, and then in December up to 4.5% on the Fed funds rate. And yet with all this bad news, there is some optimism in the future. So first, we've been telling you about the month over month numbers with the inflation. Those higher, num those, those higher numbers are going to be replaced by some lower numbers. So as inflation comes down, the month over month numbers in the next November, December, January, and February, we're going to start to see the inflation come down. But let me go into a little bit more detail. Shelter costs. This is 39% of the overall CPI numbers. So it has a really big impact on inflation. But there's a lag in reporting that data. So this graph is showing you that the rents are actually coming down here, but we haven't seen the impact of those changes on inflation. We're going to start to see, just like the CPI numbers that I've been telling you month over month, it's the same thing with rents. We're going to start to see the impact of those lower rents in January, February, March, April of next year, and that's going to bring down the core inflation numbers. The second thing is shipping costs. Remember, those shipping containers that were being imported and actually coming over, those were costing $10,000. They've come down by 68%. So the, those numbers of those containers have dropped from $10,000 to $3,200, which is going to lower the cost to the consumer, and that will lower inflation numbers as well. Used cars are down 10% year over year. Remember, we had that huge spike of, of, of the cost of used cars. That's come down. Money supply. The money supply has gone up 40% since the stimulus. The government put more money into the economy, and when there's more dollars in the economy, this causes inflation. But that money supply has recently declined and it looks like it's leveling out and it's probably going to come down sometime in the future. Probably in March is where we're going to start to see that supply kind of come down. That will also reduce inflation. So all of these items will have an impact on the overall inflation numbers. And as I've been telling you, we will start to see the rates come down towards the end of the year. And in the next six to nine months, we, will, we may see interest rates in the 5% range. So right around 5% will be the number that we're looking for. Keep in mind, I'll be hosting a webinar uh, this next week on buy down. So with these increased interest rates, we're starting to see the use of 2-1 and 3-2-1 buy downs. I'll be going into more details on the webinar. Register in the link below. This is Mike Wise with Capstone Direct Mortgage educating borrowers and empowering agents. I will be available this weekend. If you need any help, give me a call or shoot me a text. I'll be more than happy to help.